Hey everyone, Jess here. So today's video I'll be doing the Environment of Privacy Tag Part 2. I've already filmed Part 1, so before continuing watching this vid, go and check that out, it'll be on the screen somewhere now. And then continue watching this vid. So there's 20 questions altogether in this tag, and last time I did up to 10. So we're going to do 11 to 12. 11 to 20 now, so let's go. Question 11 is, are you a social or antisocial person? I would say I'm a bit of both. I'm more like social when, I, when I've got to know you and we become friends or something like that. And I've known you for quite a bit. Then I'm more social, I'm more talkative. Which you'll find and I probably won't shut up at times, but that's just me. But I'm also kind of antisocial because... Honestly, I'm always on Twitter, but I hardly ever tweet because I don't see the point of tweeting everything you literally do. There's no point. If I'm doing something fun and exciting, then I'll probably tweet about it and that's it. But I also tweet when I upload videos as well, which you can find out if you follow me on Twitter, which will be in the description below if you want to follow me and get to know me. Maybe we'll become friends. I, who knows? But... Anyway, like antisocial because at first when you get to know me, I'm kind of quiet, kind of shy. I don't know if you'd class it shy, but I'm more quiet. But it's just because I'm trying to get to know you. Right? I have to feel comfortable with you before you see my full personality. 12. If the person you like says I like someone else, what would you say? Honestly, I think you'd be pretty crushed. But what would I say? I don't really know, but I think lyrics speak more louder than words because there's songs out there that describe these situations. And this is probably what I would say. Another chase, another time, another world, another life. Thank God I found the good and goodbye. And I'm gonna always be the best thing you never had. Question 13 is, are you good at hiding your feelings? When it comes to being happy and angry, I'm not good at hiding that. Because if I'm happy, you'll see a smile on my face. I'll be excited. Probably be running around the house screaming. Maybe if it's like someone's followed me that I've waited for a follow for ages you'll know of it. If I'm angry, you'd know because I get short-tempered, I lash out, I scream, I shout, probably throw stuff around. But the only feeling that I'm good at hiding is when I'm sad or upset about something. I kind of guess you could say bottle it up. I keep it to myself. I would only like cry if I'm on my own kind of thing so pretty much when I'm with other people I hold it all together I hold it all in I don't show my emotion when I'm sad question 14 is can you drive a stick shift well I can't drive at all so that would be no but maybe one day the answer to this question would be different. If they still do stick shift cars, that is. I have no idea. I'm not <laughs> really known on that subject. Question 15 is, do you care if people talk badly about you? I guess if they're strangers and people that I don't know, I wouldn't care so much. Yeah, it would hurt, but... It wouldn't bother me that much. But if it was like a family member or a friend that said something to someone else about me that's bad, I would go up to them and be like, what's your problem? Try and resolve it. If it doesn't resolve, then it would probably lead us to not talking for ages. 
But then we come back to being friends again and we'll be like, why was we arguing in the first place? Which is so stupid. Question 16 is, are you going out of town soon? Not as far as I know of. I haven't really travelled anywhere since I've grown up. But I'm trying, me and my friend Sarah, who watches these vids, shout out to her. Love you, big sis. Um, we're trying to, like, we want to go travelling together, so we're going to try and plan something, hopefully. Maybe we could go to, like, Cornwall or something, because it's in this, in the UK, so we'll start little and then go out of the UK. Hopefully one day. Need to make that happen. And also, she travels a lot anyway, so at least I know that I'd be safe, I'd be happy, I'd be, it'd be fun and, yeah. Question 17 is, when was the last time you cried? Last time I cried was actually another day, the 3rd of July 2017 this year because it was my granddad's funeral. He passed away on the 20th of June, which was ironic because it was my one of my best friend's closest birthday that day. And I was so upset, shocked that it was so soon at that time. It's my granddad, which is my dad's dad. And my nan on that side of the family is still alive. But it wasn't her birthday, it was my mum's mom's birthday that day. And I guess it really hit me hard because he was the only granddad I ever known since my mum's dad had died way before I was even born, so I never really got to know him. I never met him. But my granddad is now out of pain. He's no longer suffering. He's somewhere up there in heaven, probably with his mum and dad, probably watching down on me now. He's probably thinking, oh, I didn't know you did videos because I never told him. So he's probably thinking, don't be upset. I'm, I'm in a better place now. I'm not. I'm no longer hurting, I'm no longer in pain. And that's why I truly believe I miss him and I love him and one day I'll see him again. One thing that helped me comfort through the time of when it was happening was Sarah actually was always there for me. She let me talk to her when I needed to. And she gave me a saying that when someone you love dies, and goes to heaven, you'll always have a plate, piece of heaven in your heart, which I felt really comfortful. I felt really comfort, and it's really helped me carry on, even though he's no longer here, but I felt peace. I feel like a piece of heaven is in my heart, so thank you, Sarah, for that advice and that saying. Um, question 18 is, have you ever liked someone you didn't expect to? Yes, I've liked about three people since secondary school, when I was in secondary school, when I was 16 basically, but it was near the end, so we was finishing, I was graduating, it was weird to even think I liked them people, because I have no idea why. For some reason I fancied them because I no longer do which makes no sense I guess you could say they're crushes so I've had three crushes and I've had a boy that liked me which I didn't even know about but that was in college and that is a different story if you want to know about that because that was so embarrassing if you want to know that embarrassing story I'll probably do it in another video oh god the most awkward 
an embarrassing part of my life, literally. Because I had no words, I was literally speechless. And even the teacher felt the awkwardness because it was like, awkward. Oh. That's a different story, but Sarah knows that story, I think. I told her, but she wasn't in on that day either. Okay, let's go on to question 19 is, if you could change your eye colour, would you? Well, like I said in the Get to Know Me tag, my eye colour is blue. And my camera's just moved because the cat's just jumped next to my screen, so I'm going to push it back down. <laughs> My cat's li No, don't! Tib! Stop it! Don't! My cat's rubbing her head on my screen now. Because <laughs> I'm using my iPad to record with for those who are wondering. And she's literally rubbing her head on my screen. Stop! <laughs> Tib! She's being all cute. My screen goes open. <laughs> Stop! This is my beautiful cat, Tibby. Who was the one that was nudging my iPad and knocking the screen about? And this is also a little gas appearance, so you can actually see what she looks like. She's a tabby cat. Okay, so I forgot what question I'm on. Question 19 is if you could change your eye colour, would you? Honestly, like I said in the Get to Know Me tag, I wouldn't change my eye colour because I love the colour of my eyes, they are blue, they're different shades of blue from dark to light and a fun fact is that I've only just realised is that my dad's eyes are dark blue, my mum's eyes are light blue, like, like really light and I've got a mixture of both which I think is so cool and unique and I love them to bits so thanks mum and dad for my eyes <laughs> Question 20 is and this is the last question. Name something you have to do tomorrow. I have to... What day is it? It is the 26th of July I'm recording this on. Tomorrow will be Thursday the 27th of July. So, what have I got to do tomorrow? I will probably be... If I haven't got anything to do, I'll probably be editing this vid and... Maybe record more vids. Or editing even more vids. I have no idea, but that's what I'll probably be, be doing. Let me know in the comment section what you was doing on the 27th of July, since I have no idea when this vid is going up. But anyway, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Enjoy your summer holiday to the people that are finished school and they're on summer holiday. I'm sorry about the weather because it's not that good in the UK, but... If you're born here, you probably already know that. But anyway, I, yeah, have a great day. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.